Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am going to be working with some fabric, decoupaging with fabric. Uh, if you are like me, you end up having a lot of little fabric scraps. And I'm gonna show you what I do uh, with some of mine. So I like buying these fat quarters. I do clear plates with the fabric on the bottom, fabric backed plates, I call them. Uh, I do a lot of those for gifts, for the holidays, for decoration. I think they're really pretty. And so I buy a lot of fat quarters. And you can find these at Walmart, at Joann's, at Michael's. They all have them. They're they run from like 97 cents to maybe $2, depending on what the pattern is. Some of the Dollar Trees even have them also, but they're in a roll. They roll them, but it's the same exact size. So I always end up having a lot of extra fabric when I'm done making my plates. And some of these pieces are very small. Some of them might be a little bit bigger, depending on what I'm decoupaging. But I never throw anything out, so I like to use it all. So today, uh, I'm going to show you what I do with these little wood slices. They're, um, they're all different sizes, so maybe about two inches around, I guess, and very, very thin. I purchased from Amazon. I bought a bag of them, and I've had these for a while, so I'm really sorry. I don't even know how many came in the bag when I got them, but if you are interested in a whole bag, you can Google wood pieces or wood slices on Amazon, and I'm sure you'll be able to find those. So we are going to need our wood piece, a uh, little piece of fabric. Today I'm going to be doing Snoopy. I think that's just adorable. Our Mod Podge, sponge brush or a paintbrush, whichever you prefer, and a pair of scissors. And I think that's it. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to decide which little Snoopy we want to put on our wood slice. And I noticed that wood stock is in a few of these, so I'm going to try and get him in the picture also. I think he's really cute. So let's see. I think that will work right here. I like to lay it on the top and then cut some of the fabric off so it's a little bit easier to work with. These uh, wood pieces, these have a little hole in the top of them. I, yeah, there, you could see that. So I usually try <clears throat> to, when I lay my fabric on it, I try not to put the pattern that I want up on that hole, just in case I decide that I want to use that to hang it for an ornament or whatever. A lot of these I just like to put a magnet on the back and use them as magnets. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a nice layer of Mod Podge all over this. And it doesn't matter. You can even put it over that little hole. That doesn't matter. I want to make sure that we get it all the way to our ends. Okay, and now we're going to put our piece of fabric on here. I try to figure out where that hole is at. I've got wood stock on there. Uh, let's see if I can move this just a bit. There we go. And we're just going to lightly press it. Don't have to worry about wrinkles on this like you do with napkins. Fabric is really easy to work with, I think. 
So I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to let this dry. I have a couple others that I worked on earlier today. I have a Batman here. So once that first layer is dry, we're going to cut all this extra fabric off. I like these wood slices because they're not, they're like misshapen almost. They're not completely round or oval. They're kind of misshapen, if that, <laughs> if that makes sense. But I like that. So this is, here is my Batman on here. Taking off all the excess. And I'm going to put another layer of Mod Podge on this. Just to make sure that my edges are down real well. Nothing is going to come up. Talk about quick and easy, guys. I mean, this is another simple uh, decoupage craft that anybody can do. Like I said, I love working with fabric. <clears throat> so I'm going to put this aside to dry. Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, you will know that I like to do the steps ahead of time. So I have everything ready and waiting. So I have Olaf here. And Olaf has had all of the coats of Mod Podge that it needs. So we can stop right here and we can make it a magnet or if you want to use that uh, to hang the Dollar Tree cells in their Crafter Square, it's a piercing and scoring tool set. So you can use the piercing end. I haven't even opened these yet. I just got them the other day. But you can use that piercing end and you could poke a hole through here. I'm not gonna do it because I'm not sure yet what I wanna do with this, if it's gonna be a magnet or not. But you could go ahead and go through that, that hole, and then you could put a piece of twine in there. Um, if you're making maybe some kind of decorations for the holidays, maybe ornaments, you could probably put a hook on there for the Christmas tree. But anyway, I think he's kind of, um, I, don't, I don't like that. It's just kind of bland like that. So what I like to do is I use triple thick. This is Brilliant Brush on Gloss Glaze. And you can find this at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Joann's. And what this does is it gives it a really nice shine. So I'm gonna go ahead and I use a paintbrush for when I'm working with the triple thick. And you can see here, oh, let me get rid of it. It is thick, it's very thick. So I am going to put a nice coat of this on And get it all the way to the ends. Now, while this is wet, you can, if you wanted to, put a little diamond dust on here um, or some kind of glitter. You can go ahead and do that too. So I have a nice coat on there and I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna let that thoroughly dry and I'm going to show you, uh, I have Mario here. See how that shines? Now, Mario's totally done, and it has a coat of triple thick on it. I have Mickey over here without anything on him. And you can really see the difference. Mickey does not have any kind of shine at all on him. So I am going to go ahead and I am going to put a coat on there. 
but you could see the difference. And I really, I, I, I do recommend doing this if you want it to shine like that. Look at that. And like I said, you can put a little glitter. You could do a diamond dust down there. You could do whatever you want and make it really nice and sparkly. So that is my DIY for today using little pieces of fabric, little scraps of fabric. If you're like me, you like to use up everything you possibly can. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope everyone is having a great day. If it's the end of your day, I hope that you're relaxing. We are expecting up to seven inches of snow here in Wisconsin today. So this is probably what I will be doing throughout the evening is crafting. But anyway, thank you again for joining me. As always, please stay safe and stay healthy. Until next time, bye-bye.